So obviously you've, you've talked about, you've seen our cameras and talked about them. Um, yes. This year we don't have all of our DI products on display, but we do have uh, a selection of our uh, uh, Alpha Series, uh, A7, uh, Alpha 7 uh, R4 and Alpha 7 S2, uh, in conjunction with our um, Venice Cam and our FX9. Uh, so we're, so we're, part of what we're showcasing here is the, con the continuity of the product. All of these cameras use the same E-mount system, so all of the len lenses are interchangeable. Um, and also, as you mentioned earlier, S-Log3, all of these cameras have that capability to do that. So again, as a, as a creator, as a film director, uh, you're going to get a consistent performance from all of these cameras. Even our Xperia phone has the Cine Alta Venice software in it. Obviously a very stripped down version, um, but it is there for the person who wants to use their phone. And these are all full frame sensors as well. Full frame, full frame sensors, yes sir. So we have Cinema, we have the, the Pro software, so I can choose the lens I want, the ISO, the white balance, I can choose resolution, I can choose different color styles, uh, so I have different lookup tables. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a stripped down version, but even on my Xperia phone, I have the ability to be a video creator. It's really cool from a filmmaking point of view, being able to have cameras that match. I mean, okay, yes, the Venice is not going to completely match with an A7R, but but if you're shooting everything, if you say we're going to shoot everything 4K or we're going to shoot everything HD uh, within whatever the capabilities of your lowest end camera might be, having all the same size sensor, having all the same um, uh, S-Log3, being able to say, okay, our A cam is going to be the FX9, and we're going to have the A7R as our B cam, and we're going to stick a couple of these things over there, and knowing the footage is going to match up makes everyone's life a lot easier in post-production. So I like that consistency that runs through the Sony line. Yeah, and I also forgot to mention our RX0, which is this camera here. Now, it's obviously a smaller sensor, but if you're trying to do body cams and things like that, it lends itself. We're also using them for the motion capture uh, over there. Uh, so, yeah, so we actually actually have a variant on the Venice that you may or may not be familiar with called the Rialto. So they've taken the lens from the body and attached it to a tether. So you can really get the camera into a very small space. So I don't know if this will show up very well on your camera, but this is a scene from the upcoming Top Gun Maverick. And those are the four lenses from Sony Venice cameras being able to shoot Tom Cruise in flight. Oh, that's very, very cool. Right. And you'd never be able to get another kind of camera in that position. Those shots just would be very, very difficult to, to get. You'd have to do them in post. Um, that is the most uh, amazing dash cam I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you'll be seeing that in any cars coming soon, including the Sony Vision S. Um, it's, a little, it's a little over the top. <laughs> Um, but hey, so is Top Gun. Um, so we're going to take a quick look over here. So this is the FX9. Um, we saw this at NAB New York. Um, very cool camera. It is an evolutionary leap forward from the FS7, uh, which is what I use, which is a, um, a uh, super 35 inch sensor, super 35 sensor. This is a full frame sensor, a lot of other capabilities. Um, it's a super cool looking camera. Um, and then the mighty Venice, oh man with uh, an awesome Sony uh, 25 millimeter lens on it. Man, this is uh, cool stuff from Sony, man. Yeah, one of the things that it always surprises people is that you, know, you see the Academy Awards with all the, you know, the fancy people, but there's also the technical awards. And the Sony Venice camera was launched, won an Academy Award for the advancement of film production. So again, Academy Award winning, you know, cutting edge technology coming from Sony for, for, from, you know, from every aspect. What's cool is you can graduate up through the cameras and basically know how they work. I'm familiar with the FS7, I'm familiar with shooting with S-Log3. I could pick up the Venice and you know, give a little bit of a work through to figure out sure. the camera, but when I'm, when I'm working with exposure, when I'm working with all those sorts of things, the, the, the techniques I've picked up on the FS7 are going to translate over because S-Log3 is S-Log3. Yeah, they're definitely going to definitely going to transfer throughout the product line. Uh, a lot of these cameras are more specialized, right? The, 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 resolu the R model, of course, is a you know, high-resolution camera. The S is a high sensitivity. It's only a 12-megapixel uh, sensor, right. but it has an ISO of 400,000. <laughs> 400,000. Uh, so, yeah, so it shoots in dark. If you've, if you've seen the yeah. Planet Earth series, the bioluminance plants and insects, those were shot with the Sony S7. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, I remember when it, uh, it um, uh, the movie, uh, it'll come to me. Now I'm totally blanking, but um, uh, anyway, we'll come back to this thought. But it involved shooting in candlelight, and they used a ridiculously fast lens to make it happen, and it was a pain in the ass. But you have a 
ISO 400,000, yeah. I think you're pretty good to yeah, go. Good. All right, so uh, anything else? 